Think of the word a dozen. It represents the number 12. Just like this, the mole represents a number 2. That number, however, is rather large, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So one mole of substance contains that amount of particles. 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles of hydrogen is one mole of hydrogen. 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles of oxygen is one mole of oxygen. The clever thing is, this number was chosen because it makes the mass of that number the same number in grams as its relative atomic mass. Let me explain. The relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. We can find this in the periodic table just here. That means that one mole of oxygen weighs 16 grams. The relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. We can find that here. That means that one mole of ox chlorine weighs 35.5 grams. This means that 16 grams of oxygen has the same amount of particles as 35.5 grams of chlorine, which is a mole. You may need to work out the number of moles of a substance when given the mass. Remember the equation moles equals mass in grams divided by mR. This is the relative formula mass. Watch the last video to work this out. So moles equals mass divided by relative formula mass. Let's do a worked example. How many moles are there in 118 grams of water? We know that water is made up of H2O. So to step one, we need to work out the relative formula mass of water. Hydrogen has a relative mass of one, and there are two hydrogens, so therefore it's two, and oxygen has a relative mass of 16. The relative formula mass is therefore 18. Step two, we can use the formula mass above. The mass in the question is 118 grams. The MR we've just worked out is 18. So we're going to put this into the equation to make 118, which is remember the mass, divided by the MR, which is 18, which we worked out earlier, to get 6.6 .6 moles. Let's do another one. How many moles are there in 52 grams of HCl? Well, we know that HCl is made up of hydrogen and chlorine. So we need to find these on the periodic table and then work out the relative formula mass of HCl. There is one H and that has a mass of one and chlorine is 35.5. Relative formula mass, remember, we need to add these together. So it's 36.5. We then need to use the equation above. The mass in the question is 52 grams. The MR we've just worked out is 36.5. So let's plug this into the equation. The mass is 52 divided by the MR, which we worked out to be 36.5. And this gets 1.4 moles. So that is the answer. You have now learnt about the meaning of the term mole and how to work out moles. You will find a summary of this information below. Make sure you test yourself using the quiz on reviseitright.com. Why are we the best revision website out there? Well, because we have it all in one place. Revision notes, summary videos, longer, more detailed videos for topics you're struggling on exam question walkthrough videos where qualified teachers take you through the perfect answers to exam questions, worksheets, quizzes, computer marked exam questions, interactive flashcards, forums, the ability to keep track on where you are using our tick list and so much more. But that's not all. We run at least three live lessons a week and closer to exam time this will be more where you can tune into a qualified teacher teaching lots of different topics each week. The lessons will be interactive and we go through exam questions and quick quizzes to ensure understanding as you go. We also run drop-in sessions where you can drop in, ask a tutor anything live 
get the answer that you need and leave. These are included in our silver and gold membership. This means that for an extra £10 a month, you can access at least 12 hours of lessons a month. That's under £1 an hour, which is incredibly cheap. Still not convinced? Try us completely free for seven days and cancel any time. Completely free of charge. We offer this because we're convinced that you'll love us. So try us now.